Good morning. Welcome to day 35 of the 100 day project. This is day 34, 33, and 32. So the videos are up if you want to watch that. These are accordion books. There's a video about this one too. I'll show you what I'm going to use for today, but I have a question real quick and maybe I'll put a poll on my community page. I've never used the community page on my YouTube channel, but I'll put a poll up and you guys can go into the poll. Someone asked if I was going to do more of the accordion books. I think it was Sherry. Hey Sherry. I looked through my drawer to see if I had any more. I used to have like 14 or 15 of these, but I must have thought I was being greedy and passed some on and only kept four. So I kept a white one and three black ones. So I have two more black accordion books. So I could do another accordion book if you wanted to. So you let me know in the poll if you want another accordion book. And based on the poll, we'll do it or we won't. And then based on what I want to do, we'll do it or we won't later. <laughs> All right. So let me show you what we're going to use today. Today I'm going to play with some stencils and a couple of my pieces of yard debris. These are getting old. I don't think I can get anything else out of this one. So I did go out and pick another one. These lasted me for a long time. So they go to good use. And then I got another one of these. I love this piece. I want it to last, but I got another one just in case. So they're sitting over here for when I need them. So a couple pieces out of your yard, leaves or whatever. I love working with that. And then I've got a couple brushes, well, three brushes, two flat brushes and one round. Doesn't really matter the size. I'm just showing you the shapes I'm using and only because they're sitting here. Not any real good reason other than this is what I usually use. And then I've got a piece of paper. It's a Canson Mixed Media. It's nine by 12. It's a 98 pound paper. I've got one sheet of that. And then I've got a couple stencils here. One is a Crafter's Workshop Mini Basic Hearts. And one is a Momenta. It just says lot BL-067. It doesn't have a name. It's got a hummingbird. That's what that looks like. I'm just gonna use those two stencils. Uh, let me get set up and we'll, oh, I got paint. I gotta tell you the paint. I've got a few greens, vineyard green, apple barrel, deco art, citrus green, craft smart, citron, Americana melon, black plum Americana, deep midnight blue Americana, apple barrel Laguna, Folk Art Wicker White, and one of my all-time favorites. Nope, this is not. This is Egg Blue, Robin's Egg Blue by Craftsmart. But my all-time favorite is Spa Blue, and that is Americana. And I'll bring it out because I'm not sure if that's the one I want. But what I'm trying to do is recreate something I did a, a few months ago. I had a piece of paper sitting here. I had used this color of paint. I had wiped off the excess, and I thought, oh, that's kind of pretty. So I just kept wiping and then I used some stencils and I made four little pieces that I really liked and I'm not going to show you those until the very end. We'll see how close I can get to duplicating it. I don't think I can get exact but the fun is trying but if it gets close it'll be nice because I really like it. I was thinking about using different colors but I really like this one so I really wanted to try and replicate it for you guys. Okay so let me get set up here and uh, oh, and a sponge. You want a sponge and some water. I use a sponge to put on my paint on my stencils. You can use your brush. Sometimes I do that too. Anyway, we're going to get started. First thing we're going to do is use this piece of paper, this color paint, and this brush. And this is Laguna. So I'll be right back as soon as I'm set up. So the way this page started, I think I already said, was I had extra paint on my palette or my brush and I just wanted to get it off so I just put it on my paper. So I've got some paint in a well here in my little palette and I'm going to pretend that's just extra paint. And you don't need this. You can just put some on your brush out of the cap or pour it on your paper and go from there. I'm just trying to kind of do what I did before. So I'm putting it on my brush. So all I did was just wipe off my excess paint here and then I did it over here. And when I've exhausted every bit of paint, then I will move to the next step. This dries pretty quick because I didn't uh, just sew the page, so the paint's not sitting on top, and it's real cheap acrylic paint, so it's just gonna dry real quick. The next step, I think I put some green on that I had extra on my brush, because I don't remember what I was making, but I had green on my brush, and then I just put it on top of here, and I couldn't remember which one of these it was, so I did a little test on my little paper here, and I'm pretty sure it's this one, so that would be the Citron. All right, so I'm gonna use the Citron Craft Smart paint, and I'm gonna put a little bit in my well and get some on my brush. I gotta drink my coffee though, so I'll be right back. Okay, so pretend you're through using your green. It's all over your brush. And then I just took my paintbrush and I just made marks trying to get off the excess paint.
At this point, I think I was through putting excess paint down and I just decided, oh, that looks pretty. I think I'll go further with it. And I dragged out stencils and my little yard pieces and stuff. So I have some vineyard green and I put it in a little well, the same one I've been using. And I just took a paintbrush and I brushed it on my leaf, just like this. And then I pressed my leaf down, but as you can see, this leaf has had its last day. So I got another leaf out. I'm gonna lay the leaf down, put some paint on my brush and paint the leaf. And then I just laid it down on my paper here and rubbed the paint off and then hope for the best. Let's see what happened. There we go, yeah. See? And do that to the other three. All right, next step, I'm pretty sure, is my blue, deep midnight blue Americana. I put a little bit on my paper plate because I need a flatter surface to be able to put my little sponge down and get the paint up. And this stencil here that I showed you earlier, and look how pretty this watercolor is. Let me show you. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this stencil and I'm gonna take this part of it, just this flower here, and I'm going to lay my stencil down in different areas and just put some blue paint down. Let's get some on the sponge. It's okay if it goes over something you've already done. Isn't that pretty? I just think that's so pretty. And then you just keep going. And then I have extra paint left, so I have another sheet over here. This is just a lighter drawing paper. And I'm just going to put this down on here. And it starts another one of those sheets that I wind up adoring and don't want to cut up. All right. Okay, the next one, I think I told you the wrong color because I told myself the wrong color. I thought I used a black plum, but I'm pretty sure from looking at my other paper that's over there that I used a reddish color or razzleberry, which is one of my other favorite colors and it blended with the blue because I didn't clean my sponge. That would be something I would do. So we're gonna try that and see if that works. And then I'm gonna use my heart stencil. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna add more blue to my sponge and see if I can get it that way. I'm gonna take my stencil and put a heart down right there. This is where I might mess everything up real bad. Well, I think that's what I did, but I think that it's more red rather than razzleberry. So we're gonna play with this a little bit until we get it where we want it. I like it. It's not as red as the other one, so maybe I did use black plum. Hmm. I'm gonna try the black plum, see if I can get it where I want it. I think I used a red, though. Pretty sure. Black plum might look good, though. Okay, let's go with that. Definitely not the color I had on my other one. I'm gonna see if I find another color that looks like this. You know, I might have gone over that with melon just to tone it down. See, I did a bunch of funky stuff with this because I wasn't liking what ha was happening with my stencil, I remember. But I just don't remember the process. <laughs> so let's try that. No, that's not it. It needs to be more red. I'm gonna leave this here. I know, a dog with a bone. I just wanna make it match, but it's not gonna match. I'll be right back. Okay, I found this calico red in the top portion of my cart, which is not something I would normally use. It does look really, really well used, but it wasn't me that used it. I'm thinking maybe that's what I used, so I'm trying that out. I'm liking it better, so we're gonna go with that color. So it's a calico red by Americana. All right, better. That's closer. Okay, so then I kept going, and I used smaller hearts because I remember when I did this one, I thought, oh, that big heart covered so much of my flower. <laughs> and I'm going to change my size of stencil. I think I went to this small one here. Okay. There we go.
think the next thing I did was bring this stencil back and I brought in the Melon Color by Americana, but because it's blending with the reds and all the things that I originally used on my piece, it's not Melon Color, it's, it's muted. So I don't know what we'll get today because I can't get the same color blend. I didn't write it down. I didn't write the process down that I used. So we'll just go with what we get. We'll get close. I like that, so that'll work. Then I switch to a smaller flower, except I don't see a smaller flower on here. I must have used a different stencil. Hmm, that's okay, we'll keep using this one. I'm not gonna go find the other stencil. Oh, that looks bad. That looks very bad. That looks very, very bad. <laughs> I made a bad, bad boo-boo there. That's okay, we'll fix it. We will recover. How did that get so bad? Okay, well, let's keep on going. Okay, this one here, my oh my oh my, what a mess up we have there. Went back to my blue, and I'm going to put a little flowery, leafy shape there. There we go. That looks better. And once we're done, you won't even remember that. You might, because you saw it, but nobody's gonna really care. And I actually like that enough that I'm gonna do that over here too. There. Now, I do want this melon color brought back in a little bit. And I need to get some of this off my sponge. I never complete my sentence because I'm thinking ahead, trying to figure out what the heck to do. So, sorry about that. Okay, I think that's pretty. I'm loving that. So, I'm gonna leave my sponge dirty because I think that's what I did last time. And I'm just gonna bring in a few petals of this flower. Maybe that'll work. Okay, it makes me wanna add blue in here, but I'm not. What do I do next? What did I do? Oh, 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 I think I brought in my toilet paper roll. I gotta find that, I'll be right back. Okay, I can't remember which blue I used, but I'm pretty sure it's Robin's egg. If not, it'll look okay. And I forgot to tell you, I used the end of a toilet roll, but I don't know where it went. So I'm using the end of a paper towel roll. And I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna put some spa blue on the end, just like this. Try to go quickly so that your paint doesn't dry because it'll soak right into your, your little cardboard thing here or whatever this is. And I'm just gonna put a circle down right there and then right there and right there. Just like that. I'm gonna do it to all of them. I just think that adds such a pretty little color. I think what I did next, and this is more stuff I forgot to tell you you'll need, but now I'm telling you, so I'm sorry about that. It's just I didn't remember till I really looked at it. I think I used my peel off china marker and a pencil. I think I just went around the heart and just gave it a little definition. And then I went around it with the white china marker. There is a white pencil around here. Where is it? That might look good. I think I'll use it too. Uh, if you don't have it, that's fine. This is just a, a white charcoal pencil. It looks to me like the next thing I did was bring in the white, which uh, requires my little leaf here, this one here, and I need something to put my paint on. I have a feeling this guy's not gonna make it look. He's falling off. Maybe I should use a fresh one. We'll just go with the fresh one. The thing about the fresh one is it's not all flat and ready to go. My other one just got so flat and nice and easy to use. Taking the little round brush, it's gonna paint my leaves and the stem. Got our paint on our leaves. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna get my paper that I've been using here and just lay it down right there on top of it and smoosh it. There we go, perfect. Let's 
do it to the rest of them. The first one didn't show up as much, but it still looks pretty. I like it. And I could go over this a little bit if I wanted to. I'll try to lay it down right there and just smoosh. Yeah, that helped a little bit. So now what? Oh yeah, there's one more thing. I think you need some black paint. And all I'm gonna do is stick some in the well here. We don't need a whole lot because we're gonna water it down a little bit. Take your brush and get it wet and mix your paint a little bit. And then we're gonna put some black drops. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. Okay, this is dry, and I was looking at them thinking they would be really pretty in a frame. You guys know how I feel about my little mats. So I went and got my little green one, and I was looking at these, and I just thought these would be so pretty framed. Really, really pretty. When my foot is better, I'm going to Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna get a bunch of different sizes and colors because I like to test things out, and I only have a few that I keep using, but I really like these. But this one here was my favorite. And I really like this mat with it, so I may get another one of those from the store and I may frame this one. Could go this way, could go that way if you wanted it to, but looks better that way probably. But that's really pretty, so I'm gonna cut these today. I'm not gonna cut the other ones. This is my second round, so I don't mind cutting them. But the first ones, I still just love looking at them so much, I don't wanna cut them yet. But if you really want these to fit in frames or on cards or anything, you might want to measure out your paper first and then work within the space that you allot. But these were fly by the seat, you know, kind of things, use up extra paint. And I was just trying to replicate that today to show you what I did. And oh, I'll show you the first ones I did. This is done a few months ago. So I got pretty close. Very close, in fact, but you can tell a difference. See the heart color is different but I'm saving my first one. So I marked off on here where this mat fit the best because I'm so close to the edge, I didn't have a lot of space, so I really have to go up high to get this centered, which kind of bums me out because I really wouldn't, I don't want to get this close to this one, but I'm going to do it anyway. So let's look at this one behind a mat. Here we go. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, I think that's so pretty. I was gonna write on these. I might write on one, but I'm not writing on this one. This one's going in a frame. The other thing that you can do with these is put them on a card. I have some black ones and some white ones. I only brought the black ones over. So cut this down smaller. This needs to be a little bit more thought out if you want to put these on cards and things. See, this is a little too small just to put on the card. I need a piece of paper back here because I think that'll look really pretty if it had a border right here. It's just too small. So if you're gonna do them on cards, you need to make sure you Account for the size of your card, account for the size of your paper. I didn't do that, we're just winging it. So this is a little too small for my taste to go on a card, so I think it needs a little border. Okay, so I went through my papers and I found a few examples, but I didn't find anything that I would personally use, but I did want to show you what I was talking about. Since this card is a certain size and we didn't accommodate for the size for making these, which you should do if you want them to look right. I'm not gonna make a card, so I don't really care, but I wanted you to know just in case you wanted to do it. I found some papers like this one here. It's actually a piece of handmade paper. It's folded in half, just an example. Make sure your edges are neat if you are really picky about that kind of thing. And the other paper I pulled out was this pink one. That might look good, it might make it pop. I'm not trimming anything because like I said, I'm not making a card. And then I found these papers. Actually, these were loose. You could put a print back there. It's too busy for my taste, but that's an example. Um, this side's too dark for me but this side would work. It's still not what I would do personally. I didn't find anything I would do personally. That one doesn't look bad in the camera when I look at it, but like I said, I'm not making one, so it doesn't really matter to me. And then there's other papers in this book. This book is, it's a die cut matte pad by Susan Wingett, K and Company. And that's where this paper came from. And there's a few more left in here that I haven't used. I'll show you what they look like. Like this one here. I think a solid paper would look better because you got so much busyness going on. So 
you know, to each his own, whatever you like. That's just an idea. I'm not making a card, so I'm not gonna pursue this anymore, but if I were making a card, I would be a little more careful about my pages, how I made them and all that kind of stuff. But that is an idea. Or you could use a smaller card or cut this down, trim it off. But I don't really like making cards. I'm not a card maker, but that is an idea for you. This, that's my bag, baby. That I love. I think that is just adorable adorable. So there's a couple ideas for you. Or just use them like this. Stick them in journals or something. Or make a big painting. I think I'm gonna make a big canvas like this because I like it so well. Maybe we'll do a canvas like this tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Don't forget the poll in the community tab on my channel, which I have never used before. It'll be the first time I've ever used it, about the uh, accordion book. You answer and tell me what you want. All right. I'll see you tomorrow for day 36 and I'll talk to you later.